First alert weather tonight. Bring the chief in, Scotty P. Things are changing here within 48 hours. Yeah, they really are, Doug. Towards the end of the week, we already have issued an alert for the potential of strong to severe storms. You can see the high level cirrus clouds moving and also some low level stratus clouds in some spots of North Texas. Let's take a look at exactly what's going on and talking about this a bit more. So the alert issue for Friday for strong to severe storms. We're going to see several rounds of rain and storms in the forecast. We're going to be seeing that from Friday through Sunday, so we possibly need an alert for both Saturday, maybe Sunday. Uh, we'll keep our eyes on it as we make our forecast decisions the next few days. We're looking at this. The first alert rain chance forecast shows the coverage really going up tomorrow night to 50% to then 70% on Friday, dropping a bit Friday night, but then on Saturday, 50 to 80% chance by Saturday night. I know you might already be making your weekend plans, plan for the potential of some strong to severe storms and to stay weather aware. So speaking of the alert, uh, the threat for severe storms is there each day, as I mentioned. Now, Friday, the timing looks like morning to early afternoon hours. And then Saturday's timing, at least right now, looks late afternoon to then the evening hours. We have more heavy rain in the forecast over a several day period, one to three inches of rain. So the potential there is for some localized flooding. Already, the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe storms for the majority of North Texas for Friday. That's at level two out of the five levels for large hail and some strong winds with these storms and you see on the first alert future cast into tonight then into tomorrow morning the cloud cover sticking around for us going into the late evening hours on Thursday maybe some rain and storms moving in from the west then tapering off late in the evening but then as we go into Friday morning that's when we see these storms out to the west making their way from the west to the east moving in four or five, six o'clock, moving its way right along the I-35 corridor. Here's the latest data coming in, and that now is indicating even more of a line developing down to the south, right along I-35 for the morning drive on Friday morning. Give yourself some extra time. Parents, think now about uh, some alternative plans for kids at the bus stops. Then as we go through about 9 to 10, that activity shifting its way to the east. However, as we go into the afternoon hours to then the evening hours, there's the potential of a couple more isolated strong storms developing going into Friday night. So We'll watch this and fine tune our forecast details over the next few days. But already for Saturday, the Storm Prediction Center has the potential of the storms reaching severe limits at that 15% chance. But in Cook County, Monte County, it is that 30% chance. And that stretches all the way into parts of Oklahoma as this cold front's moving in. The front moves through, stalls out to the east. So on Sunday, the severe threat shifts east just a bit. All depends on if there's a lot of instability left over from the storms from the day before. But what we're a bit more certain on is is the potential of strong, uh, well, actually some strong storms with some heavy rain, maybe three and a half to near four and a half, almost five inches of rain in some localized spots. Don't have that today. Just see that mix a little bit of cloud cover. Had a couple of showers off to these through the day today. We're still sitting at 80 degrees. A southerly wind at nine. Dew point at 66 means it's muggy out there. We're at 78 in Denton to right now 75 walks at Hatchie, 74 in Greenville to 73 in Gainesville. So into tonight down to 73 degrees by midnight overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the upper 60s. We do warm our way into the low 80s again tomorrow. Those rain chances going up to about 20%, then even more for tomorrow night. 82 Saturday. Sunday because of more rain around the front moving through. I'm going only 79 for the high. Still a warm morning at 68 and then into next week we start to dry out and we heat back up by next Tuesday and Wednesday. High of 85. All right, Scott, thanks so much.